the 21st century diseases that are new to us, you know, things like diabetes and heart disease and cancer that we really didn't read about in the Bible. And we talked about how it's our responsibility to know how to heal, how to take care of ourselves so that we're not waiting at the emergency room or in the ICU asking God to help us get out of a predicament that we could have prevented. There is a large body of evidence that says genetically modified foods are dangerous to our health. It's probably the cause of things like heart disease, brain disorders, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. Does anybody ever think that there may be a correlation? How we have schizophrenia, attention deficit disorder, all these new diseases that are popping up all over the place, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. We can't even keep up with the disease list. The immune system resides mostly in the GI tract, so by keeping your gut healthy, you're probably gonna save your life from things like cancer, which we know now is an immune system disorder. When the immune system is not working correctly, you can get cancer. They have drugs now that turn off the immune system when you have things like rheumatoid arthritis. But yet, in the commercial itself, it tells you it can cause cancer because it shuts off your immune system. And I always tell people, then why in the world did you become broken later on? What was the cause of your disease? Were you born with a genetic predisposition? Your genes are not the cause of your disease. Something else is. We need to listen to our gut. Now, many of us go around thinking, well, I don't have any problems with my gut. I have bowel movement a day. I don't have any upper GI discomfort. I have no dyspepsia or heartburn. I'm able to digest and eat anything I want. But many of us don't know about these silent diseases, things that are probably going on because of some of the foods we're eating or some of the antibiotics that we're giving you, to you for a cold or the prednisone you were taking for your rheumatoid arthritis or other conditions. These things will destroy the gut.